sir. I understand. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving, sir. Stay out of that building, sir. I'm working with a variety of technologies uh, to make some VR tools for the RCMP. I've been in consultation with them for about two years now and we've playing with different electronics that are available, readily available on the market. Different things that could potentially come together to build a training tool for the RCMP that could replicate the, the weapons and the, the tools that they use when they're in the field. I kind of started out with thinking about what they use in training. So I started out with a red gun. Um, which they carry with them to get accustomed to the weight. It's not a functioning tool, it's just a, a solid mold of a Smith & Wesson. And then I started to play with that idea and see how I could build that into a, a remote control. We've been using simulation and other technologies for uh, you know, probably the past decade uh, at Depot. Um, driving simulation, firearm simulation, uh, the judgment simulation. And we were just looking at kind of the next steps. Where do we need to go and where are some of the gaps that the current technologies don't address? And what can we use to fill some of those gaps? And virtual reality has been one of those technologies that has been rapidly developing over the last number of years. And we felt that that was an opportunity for us to you know, do, take that technology and see if we could use that in a training environment. Please do not go in that building, sir. Do not go in that building, sir. Do not. VR is just such an immersive experience. If you haven't tried it yet, it is phenomenal. It, it kind of blows your mind, really. <laughs> when you enter into VR, you can get this incredible peripheral vision and you can build scenarios and situations uh, that can help you understand and what, uh, well, in our, our case, help our cadets understand what they need to learn. There's a lot of limitations right now with the current simulation. You know, you're bound by how you film a certain scenario. Uh, with the virtual reality, uh, you have that flexibility where all of your actions have a reaction and you can do this all in real time. So if you're doing a really good job with communicating with an individual uh, and de-escalating the scenario, that, uh, that avatar will respond uh, as such. Uh, so it's a lot more flexible and, and uh, much more realistic what would a uh, person would expect in the real world. Sir, I'm not saying you did anything wrong. Please do not go in that building. Sir, do not.